You guys see what I'm seeing? We are throwing it way back to Call of Duty World War II. One of the one of the least least liked Call of Duties. And to be honest, the year for World War II was actually pretty bad for me. Simply because everyone who I wanted to play with either didn't like to play the game or they wanted to play that like war game mode, which I freaking hate. But we're gonna give it a go. We're loading a multiplayer. See, war war wasn't like a bad is that what it's called? War? It wasn't a terrible game mode. The problem with war is I think if I'm not mistaken, throughout the whole year of war, there were only three maps. Like for the whole year. Restart required. There's a new update available. I just download. I literally just fully downloaded the game. Like from, I del I had the game deleted because it's a PlayStation. You have to delete your games because Call of Duty takes up a million gigabytes. I literally just downloaded. There's an update. No, no, there's not. I don't remember where I was at, but basically, like for War, there were only three maps for the whole year, and so War got really boring really quick when you're playing literally the only three maps for the entire year for multiple hours a day. So today we're gonna be playing whatever game mode. We're allowed to play and i oh yeah we're gonna be loading into let me actually gotta gotta rotate over here so i can actually see the the tv screen and not just the obs reflection all right so this is what we're greeted with we have news headquarters is this like where i can walk around our soldiers here we go um, we're not gonna mess with any of the creative classes but let's take a look at them well we have the fighter pilot glide bomb and artillery barrage is this the what's that called the the ppsh right PPSH 41. Dude, this thing was an absolute beast. I have 8,000 points. I have a... Is that a prestige token? I have a prestige token. So we have Hunker. What is that? Espionage. I don't know what any of these do. Hunker is definitely like a flight jacket. Oh, Airborne makes me run faster. So I'm just going to go with this top class. That's why I made it my top class. I'm just going to leave everything the same. And we're just going to... What is this? Get five headshots in St. Paddy's Day playlet. Is this still St. Patrick's Day in World War II? Is World War II St. Patrick's Day forever? Oh, there's zombies in this game. I forgot about that. Yeah, here we go. War. Oh, wait. This is Ground War War, though. Is that how it always was? Wait, Shipment is in this game, too? I keep looking over at the screen, and then I keep forgetting I gotta actually look at you guys in the camera. We're not gonna play Shipment. But it's in this game? Oh, public match. Here we go. This is what we want. So, can I see the... Like, if the game is actually filled with people or not? Doesn't look like... Oh, season pass. I didn't have the season pass. So we're just gonna do can we do like a there's no hard point oh here it is oh you have to actually like it's mixed so that's the game that we're gonna do hopefully we'll get into a game so we got some hard points on the point de hook de hook on the heck what what is this map i don't recognize this map at all oh wait no wait i think i do wait this looks what is this map oh we're oh i know this map okay this is the trenches wait so this is oh we're, we're at the beginning of the game okay here we go all right this game is Dude, I feel like I'm Captain America right now, baby. Let's go as Captain America. There's no auto attacks for in this game, so I have to jam the crap out of my controller. And this is the trenches map. Wait, what is... Oh, there was dolphin diving in this game, so there's no slide canceling. Is there bunny hopping? I don't think there is. I'm not really sure. Are there... There's one up... There's one player on the enemy. There's one... They started the game with, with three players. I'm just gonna leave... How do I leave? I gotta go all the way over here to leave? They make you work for it, huh? I Like, I always thought that you could see how many people were in a playlist so you know which playlist to play, like, click because you would know which ones are full and which ones aren't. I'm just gonna assume Team Deathmatch is full because it's always full. Oh, we literally instantly joined the game. Okay. So after about a 45-minute loading screen, we're in the game. And here we go. Yeah, this is like the beginning of a game. Lobby's like full. Let's, uh, let's rock this. Oh, here's our first opponent. First, oh, he's throwing grenades at me. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Oh, smoked! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. I don't know why Black Ops 4 the other day felt so weird. This, like, definitely feels clunky, too. But, I honestly, if I'm... You know, honestly, I feel like this game just always felt clunky to me. And I think that's why I'm just, like, okay with it. Where Black Ops 4, I always, like, met, remembered it as a smooth game. I could be totally wrong. Maybe I'm just used to this because I did play the Black Ops 4 the other day. So, now I'm, like... You saw this, but oh my, I just smoked that guy. Okay, I still got it. Uh, okay, I don't got it. I don't got it. Uh, oh, how do I reload cancel? Oh, 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 I double kill. No! I really wanted that double kill more than anything. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, yes, dude. I just remembered the mini map actually works in this game. The mini map actually works so I can look at the mini map and see where these opponents are. That's, this is what it's like to have. 
a mini map. You know, honestly, I feel like this game wouldn't be so hated if, like, honestly, the maps, like, just, I mean, look at this. The the map is, like, it looks green. Like, everything looks green and gray. I said that in my Call of Duty wishlist video, if you guys watch that. And now, I, there was obviously, like, the big mistake of, like, the classes or whatever, where basically, instead of picking all your individual perks, you would pick a set of perks, like the hunker or the infantry or whatever. Obviously, that was a big, like, a bad deal, but... I mean, at the end of the day, it's a Call of Duty. You can hate as much as you want, but we all still played it. So they're spawning back here. Okay, there we go. Find that guy. They're, it looks like they're spawning back here. I remember this map now. There's, I played a lot of a lot of CTF on this map in the rank playlist. Oh, didn't this game actually? Now that I remember it, didn't this game have like one of the best like rank plays ever? I'm gonna smoke this guy. Wait, did he just dot? What is he doing? Did he go that way so my teammate could kill him? That was weird as crap. Oh, we have a UAV up. Oh, you can sprint reload. Okay, that's one thing that every year, the sprint reload, like, how they interact with each other. Whatever side, like, so, for instance, like, in Modern Warfare, if you reload, or if you sprint, your reload cancels. And I like it in Modern Warfare, but in this game, if you sprint, it doesn't cancel, and I like that, too. I, I don't know, like, what it is. I'm, like, just always okay with whichever one they give us, but I like both of them. Like, whenever you can sprint and reload at the same time, it's, like, a nice feeling because the game's faster. But it's also nice... That you can like quickly cancel reload by sprinting. I'm just on the nastiest head glitch and that guy still killed me through the smoke. I would love to see this guy's point of view. What is this on the right? The four dots. He just shot me right through the smoke with the MP40 it looks like. Didn't the ARs get like heavily messed with in this game too? Like at one point like one AR was the dominant one. Then they switched it to a different AR. Like didn't at the end of the year like all the ARs kind of suck? Or am I like mistaken on that? I don't know. I just know that this PPSH has always been my baby in this game oh oh i freaking don't under i don't think i should have killed that guy but i definitely did okay i stunned myself should not have done that there's no way that my grenades are thank you that's what i wanted it to do that was a trick shot that grenade lasted eight minutes and it i got the final kill with anything i think i just i think i just bounced my own grenade off the wall is do i get the final kill cam oh it goes to the bronze star where did we go? 16 and 5! Okay! This is my game! Oh, that's right. In this game, you could also map votes. Modern Warfare. This, I should have put this in my... I don't really care what cla map we do. I'm gonna do classified. This is something I should have put in my Call of Duty 2020 list. We should be able to vote for what map we want. Why did we take away a feature that is good? There's no downside to this feature. The only downside is for them when they see we don't want to play their crappy maps! Because we always skip past it. Then that's okay. Take the map out. I don't know why Call of Duty is afraid to just take out the bad maps and leave in the good maps. Okay, so we're gonna try out the AR this game. We're gonna give it give it the old fashioned try. Yeah, Call of Duty, what I was saying, Call of Duty should not be scared to like just take out the bad maps and just give us better maps. Oh, something I totally forgot to mention, guys. As this video is going out, I'm in Mexico right now. With me and my wife. We're we're in Mexico right now, so hello. Hello, but goodbye i guess i'm in mexico okay oh my goodness i'm just oh you're dead three two one repeat me oh he just he like little i just seen the little little edge of him so yeah we're in mexico we're it's kind of like a honeymoon but also like not i mean i think taylor's just gonna count as a honeymoon because we never went wow i could not my my sensitivity just couldn't keep up with that guy but we, we never really went on an official honeymoon. Like, after our wedding, we went to Chicago in a really nice hotel for, like, was it one night or two nights? Actually, I think it was only one night. But, yeah, we never really got to go on a honeymoon. And then we were supposed to go to, I couldn't even tell you where. Taylor, like, does all this all the planning and stuff like that. I just pay for it. So, we were supposed to go somewhere for a honeymoon. And then COVID kind of canceled that trip on us. So, I, dang, dude, those guys lined up. So now we are going to Mexico. We're going to be, we're going with uh, our friends though, which is going to be awesome. And that's why like it is a honeymoon, but it's not because we're going with friends. But at the same time, it's going to be, no matter what, I don't care like what we're calling it. Because it's going to be a fun vacation. We're going to be going to Mexico. Uh, we're going to be leaving. We already left. Obviously, like I said, by the time this video comes out, we already left. We're there. I am probably, as you're watching this, imagine this. I am either probably on a beach, tan and handsome as ever, or I'm on a beach or I'm in my bed, red like Larry the Lobster crying because I'm sunburned. There's no really no between. Or I'm still pale as crap because I'm too scared to go outside. I don't think that's going to be a thing, though. Figured I'd throw it in. Is this automatic? Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, dude. Basically, all the assault rifles in this game only had 20-round mags, didn't they? That was, like, definitely one of the downsides for the ARs because you, like, had to run extended mag, 
which is just taking up one of your attachments. If I can find someone, that would be incredible. Oh, oh no, I didn't want two of you at once. Okay, just kidding. I did want two of you at once. You guys suck. I take that back. Bring everyone. I want all four. Oh, oh we're going for the quad. Wow, the kill feed like went away really fast there. Guess we're not hitting a quad. I like, kind of remember this map, but I definitely like, definitely kind of also don't. Dude, I ran out of ammo. Like, I definitely know this map, but I could not tell you, like, the layout. Like, I definitely want to be able to tell you where people are spawning at, based off, like, when I kill them in the minimap. Which, once, I mean, I just want to go back. Like, dude, this game, I mean, not, not even just this game, but, like, every game, besides the new Modern Warfare, had, like, a minimap system that works, a freaking... Even in Modern Warfare 2, you could, like, even though you couldn't pick your map, you could still vote to skip. Like, I would even accept that. Like, if you don't let us pick what map we want, just allow us to vote to skip a map. Like, dude, if you guys are going to give us bad maps, then don't make us, like, don't force us into playing them. Because it just hurts your game when we're forced to play these crappy maps. Because there's either going to be people like me that just leave when there's a crappy map. Or there's gonna be people who play your crappy map and rage the whole time and they eventually just get off the game because now they're in a bad mood from your crappy map so even though yeah sure you probably what did i just did i pick up a gun i did wow this looks like obsidian kind of but not really oh this thing shoots much faster oh i have a bar class oh and i have that cg let's use the bar this was the like the go-to gun the bar for the longest time but yeah if you have a bad bad map just take it out of the game and now sure you paid probably a ton of money for a designer and like a team to make it but dude just freaking i mean take it out of the game like it's if no one wants to play the map then no one wants to play the map and if there are people who do want to play the map freaking give them their own special playlist called the weirdo playlist where they get to play all the weird maps like freaking grasna raid do you guys ever like when you're playing like you just like, so you naturally, you're just playing, right? You don't, like, really pay attention to your hands. You just play the game. But do you ever just, like, kind of purposely think constantly about, like, what your fingers are doing, like, your thumbs? Because I do sometimes. I know that sounds weird, but just give it a try. Just, like, as you're playing and you're turning left and right, like, actually, like, just feel your thumb turning left and right. It's, like, so weird. Because you're like, wow, I'm just, like, controlling this super soldier. Did I just get... Wait, I got stuck? I got stuck. Okay. Dude, we're about to lose this game. Crap. This has been a slow, slow pace game. Oh, here we go. Free. This is how we catch back up right here. I got to kill that guy. I can't even, couldn't even see him. That would have been a nice double kill to help us out. What do I got to do? Stop running at people? Just start holding down lanes? All right, so someone's using Scrambler or whatever the heck. So I know they're close. You. Is this James Bond music in the background? Oh, I died from behind. This is straight up some, some James Bond. Captain America. Son of a nutcracker. We freaking lost dude i should not have used the ar i should have used my ppsh what did we go 21 and 15 that's it that's all we could do look at my team 8 and 14 brother you got to do way better than that this guy's name is cody gets paid did you see that what is the gun doing bang 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 for those of you staying to the end of the video, you guys get blessed with the combat record. I figured it out. So my win-loss ratio in this game is a 1.53. That's because I played a lot of war and war was insanely easy. Where's my kill-death ratio at? Oh, my best stat is a 10 kill-death ratio. What's my average kill-death ratio? Oh, is it a 1.46? Oh, it says my last five matches kill-death ratio is a 1.6. I was looking at the OBS. Last five matches, 1.72, but my average kill-death ratio is 1.46. Not that bad, not that great. Look, total time played on this game was only four days. I'm like at, I'm at like 12 days, I think, right now in Modern Warfare. I just didn't play this game a lot because we had to play War, which I freaking didn't like. That is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Once again, I am in Mexico right now, so I don't know how many subscribers I'm currently at. Hopefully, we're at least above 400, but we, I think we can hit 500. Guys, if we hit 500 subscribers when I come back from Mexico... That would be that would be literally insane. So that would be awesome. Thank you guys for stopping by today's video. Don't forget, if you want some Twist Clan merch, go to the Twist Clan store and at checkout, use code Rudy for five percent off. Give you free five percent off. So why why would you miss that? I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.